What's up guys, this is Luis from Alibi Security, and if you haven't heard, Microsoft plans to completely disable Internet Explorer in June of this year. What does that mean for us? Well, that means we're gonna have to find another solution to view our cameras when using a web browser. Thankfully, Microsoft has integrated IE mode within Microsoft Edge, and we can use that to view our cameras, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So looking at the computer here, I'm gonna do this demo with an Alibi Witness unit, mainly because our Vigilant units currently do support Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. If you want to learn how to check your Vigilant unit for available firmware updates, use the link in the corner of this video or in the description below. If you make sure that your firmware is up to date on your Vigilant unit, you can disregard this entire video. Moving forward with the Witness unit, I know that some of our Witness units do have compatibility with Chrome, etc. But we do have some older legacy units that still require Internet Explorer. And this video is gonna be for you guys so you can figure out how to still use Microsoft Edge and view your cameras. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button below so you can get updated for future videos. Let's get started. As you can see here, the address to my unit is 192.168.1.16. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge, type that in, type my password in, So as you notice, it does ask me to install the plugin. I already have the plugin installed on this computer. Most likely you guys will have the exact same situation. You've already been using this computer. You just need to get to a new browser so you can view it. So from here, we'll just enable IE mode on Microsoft Edge. So we'll go to the three dots in the top right hand corner. We'll go to settings. On the left hand side, we'll go to default browser. And where it says allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode, Right now it's set to default. We want to change that to allow. It's going to prompt you to restart your browser. So we'll go ahead and restart that. We'll go ahead and refresh this page as well. So we're still not in Internet Explorer mode. It's still in Microsoft Edge. What we need to do here is right click on this tab and go to reload tab in Internet Explorer mode. You're going to get this little prompt that pops up. It's pretty important where it says open this page in Internet Explorer mode next time, you wanna go ahead and hit the toggle button to turn that on. That way, anytime you go to that specific address, it will load in Internet Explorer mode. So we'll hit done here. It's gonna give you a quick message here, but we can X that out. Now, if I log in, you'll notice right away that I do have the grid, which means, hey, the plugin is working. And I'm gonna go ahead and start the live view here. I just have a camera just plugged in here in my office. And you do see that the video does come through there. And there is playback as well. So if I go to playback, let me scroll over to this blue segment here. And you notice that it does have playback as well. So if you, I go to configuration, you can have all the same menu options here under image. You will see the image of the camera so you can do your image adjustments as necessary, etc. Overall, it's a really simple process to enable IE mode in Microsoft Edge. So if I close this out and open Edge back up and go back to my reporter address, you'll notice up in the top left-hand corner right here that it does load in IE mode. You don't have to go through those steps again. Every time you go to this specific address, it will load in IE mode. Overall, using IE mode within Microsoft Edge is very simple. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Once again, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can get notified when future videos are available.